The It's Tuesday Show spotlights entrepreneurs, artists, authors, nonprofit organizations, and small to medium sized business near you. It's Tuesday, April the 23rd, 2013. Hi, I'm C. Henry Adams, your host. Today, we will have a three-part show. Part three of three. On Saturday, April the 20th, 2013, I attended the Great American Cleanup event in East Point, Georgia. Keep East Point Beautiful is an organization led by Executive Director Ms. Frances Kennedy. It has participated in the Great American Cleanup for 35 years. We sat down to talk with Ms. Frances Kennedy and five leaders from the various organizations involved with the event. I'm Frances Kennedy with Keep East Point Beautiful. I'm the Executive Director. Uh, Keep East Point Beautiful is a 501c3 nonprofit that works as a, with a mission of encouraging individuals to take greater responsibility for their community and their environment. As a part of a national event, Great American Cleanup, we have planned a citywide cleanup here in the city of East Point and invited individuals and organizations to join us. This will be the 35th year that Keep East Point Beautiful has been in existence here in the city of East Point, helping the community to look better, to be better, and be more responsive in environmental activities. Today we're doing a cleanup activity for the Great American Cleanup. We chose several places throughout the city of East Point and we asked groups to come in. We had approximately five different groups to show up and 36 volunteers. First, let me start with our council person who is here. Uh, the council person um, shared this with the citizens of East Point as a part of their council meeting on this week, encouraging people to come out. And maybe the council person would be willing to share with us why he feels this is an important activity for the city of East Point. And the council person is East Point City Councilman for Ward A, Mr. Alexander Gothard. How you doing, sir? Well, we all came out here today, at, you know, as a part of Keep East Point's Beautiful Initiative to clean up the city of East Point. As we all know, you know, it's trash everywhere. So we want to do our part to help beautify the community. As council person, you know, that is our responsibility, community service, getting the word out about things that occur in the community. And that was my goal in helping keep East Point beautiful to beautify the city, which I represent. Keep East Point beautiful. The one major factor about Keep East Point beautiful is that it's a behavior modification program. In other words, we don't just tell people to do something. We try to change their behavior. And the one way you can change behavior is by having people do something. You know, you can tell people a thousand times or you can go out and clean up something but the people who weren't involved don't care very much about what you did and so this is about getting people involved so as they do things they become used to doing things and they do it over and over again in fact I think councilman shared with me today he never knew he could have so much fun cleaning up litter it can be a fun activity I mean it's a good time to learn who your neighbors are learn who your different organizations are and how there are other organizations and other people who are willing to work together. It just shows you how community can work together if you just give them a chance. Dr. Robert, you are a member of the Airport Rotary Club. Could you tell us how you got involved? <clears throat> well, uh, through Francis Kennedy, I became involved in this cleanup campaign. However, I believe in doing projects through the Rotary Club that are local. Rotary sends a lot of help out of the city and to different countries, but if you send uh, money, for instance, to a foreign country, people don't see that about the Rotary Club, but if you do projects around your own community, then the, it advertises Rotary in a good light. And also, I'm with uh, Francis Kennedy and trying to improve your own home, your own landscape, and your own city because, as she said, that improves the mood and the outlook of people who live there. Mr. Mays, would you tell us a little bit about uh, this uh, project? 
Yes, I was brought on by um, Alexander Gothard. He told me about it, and my organization already was trying to put something together, actually, to get in the community and clean up a lot of neighborhoods. So I think it was a good opportunity for me and my organization to come out and help other people that share the same ideas. So pretty much, that's what we do. You know, we try to help out the community, keep it clean. I want to see more kids involved, too, which we had a lot of kids out helping today. That was a good thing. So that's the part we played in it today. Mr. Mosley, if you could tell us a little bit about your environment and your organization environment. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Adams. I represent Gate City Lodge number 42, free and accepted Masons of the jurisdiction of Georgia. And I was actually introduced to the program by one of our own, Brother Alex Gothard, as a, uh, a great opportunity to really get to know some of the citizens in East Point, as well as a good opportunity to be a part of a national and local cause, such as Keep East Point Beautiful, which is a part of the beautification that's, that was speak, spoken of earlier, beautification project in the United States. So we thought, what better way that was it to really just get our hands dirty, participate in the community, get to meet some good people from around the community. We've been satisfied. <laughs> okay, so did everybody in the room enjoy themselves? Yes. 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 Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Had a great time. Well, I'll tell you what, City Councilman Gotham, you, uh, you're something else, sir. I, I actually witnessed you going down in the valley and pulling up ties, <laughs> and we, we, we got that on film. I just wanted to let you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And then it, it was something interesting. While we were out there, a group of individuals that was picking up the trash discovered a weapon, and that was really totally out of, uh, out of uh, I guess it wasn't out of context, but they discovered a weapon, and City Councilman got the call the chief of police and the police sent out two uh, police officers and they're investigating that that weapon as well and that's a part of beautification i mean what do you think yes, Ken? It, it is and that's the one thing that we found out there's a program called the broken window program and basically what that says is when you leave a certain area in decay filled with litter that it brings about you know mm -hmm. crimes or people to use that area for criminal purposes and so that's the importance of cleaning up an area and and you find some weird things when you clean up mm -hmm. the gun um, that found that was found today is um, it's it's different uh, but you never know what you find out there but in and I think uh, dr. Bob could tell you the same thing we found actually water towers that were buried mm -hmm. over in the streams mm -hmm. and back out in the cities here in East Point not other places right here in East Point we found toilets we have found and you wonder how did they get that far down that that's always the amazing thing to me when you walk into an area and you clean the you know the curb you usually see paper but if you go a little further down, especially if it's a wooded area, you'd be amazed at the kinds of things that you will find. And this particular uh, area where you all decided to beautify uh, East Point is called Sykes Park, am I correct? That is right. Sykes Park is the biggest park here in the city of East Point. It covers approximately 50 acres. 50 acres at Sykes Park. City Councilman, they say you found a weapon. Did you find a weapon, sir? I have nothing to do with the weapon, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we, we, I did find a TV uh, buried in the woods. Um, we found probably about 20 mm -hmm. tires or so. We found a lot of tires, a TV. Um, how many bags of trash? Too many bags of trash oh, to a count. Lot, a lot. A lot of paraphernalia, too. Yeah, well, yeah, par yeah paraphernalia. <laughs> right. We, we found a lot of interesting things. And um, I never knew it was so much trash and tires and, and everything else. I wouldn't be surprised if we found a car out there. It was everything that we saw. But it was, it was definitely interesting to see what goes on. Well, you know, the interesting thing about trash is it probably <clears throat> emits some type of chemical. And then those chemicals flow back down into the, the streams and the creeks and flow right back into the river and pollute our waters. So the fact that you all, including myself, were out there picking up the trash was a beautiful thing. And I definitely agree with the uh, slogan, keep East Point beautiful. And I want to thank you all. My name is C. Henry Adams. And I thank Miss Kennedy City Councilman Gothard, Dr. Roberts, I thank Mr. Dennis Mays, and Mr. Keith Mosley for allowing me to be a part of this and for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For more information on Keep East Point Beautiful, you may find him on Facebook at KEPB1977 or call 404-762-5326. Also, eastpointcity.org. Thank you.
I'm C. Henry Adams, and thanks for listening to The It's Tuesday Show. The It's Tuesday Show is brought to you by BIE Media Group, a multimedia advertisement agency. Call 404-348-8319 or visit us on the web at biemediagroup.com.